Hey guys, um, I'm out here in Dallas, Texas for uh, a meeting with uh, American Realty and an IPA conference, which is about uh, real estate investment trusts. Long day today, 11 hours. Just kind of wanted to update you on some of the stuff I saw so I don't forget to tell you guys some of this stuff. To begin with, American Realty is looking to have a product mix of between 8 to 10 different uh, REITs that you guys would be able to sell that would really cover a pretty diverse portion of the marketplace. So I'm just going to very quickly go through uh, what I saw today. Obviously, you're familiar with the traditional American uh, Realty Capital Trust. But we saw another one today that was Philip Edison. Uh, these guys have a lot of experience, and what they're looking for is they're looking to buy properties that are like strip malls that have a grocery store chain. They've been doing it for 20 years. They've got a great track record. Uh, you know, for $100 invested, when the plan dies, they, they're paying out $126 to $135, as well as a 7% dividend. Uh, we've also got the uh, American Realty Capital New uh, New York Recovery REIT. Uh, that's starting to go really well. They've purchased uh, two very substantial properties. One is uh, in the financial district, and the other one is in, oh, I can't think of the name of the part of town. It's, uh, it's a real trendy part of town, but really, really cool. They're, they're making good progress. Their goal there is to get the client a pretty decent return on the back end. Uh, their dividend, their stated dividend is 6.05%, but the idea here is that you're going to get your dividend and then you're going to get a good back-end return. Uh, Healthcare Trust of America is is getting pretty close to tapped out. I'm going to tell you, if you've got clients that you think that would like this product, you need to get them in it now. Uh, they've, they've purchased a ton of property. It's been extremely successful. The dividend is ridiculous. I want to say the average that the client's gotten over 8% so far. Uh, so if you have any clients that are thinking about REITs uh, and you're thinking about the HTA, you need to get in it now. Uh, Retail Centers of America, American Capital, uh, uh, another one of their REITs, which is based on, um, you know, single box, Walgreens, Home Depot, stuff like that, uh, doing very well. Uh, there's a new product they got, they have called the Business Development Corporation of America. What they're doing here, and I need to get some more information on it, is they're actually going in and looking for uh, small to mid-sized corporations that are having a hard time getting financing. And they're buying up shares of the company, or not shares, they're giving them a loan with warrants. So they actually get to own part of the company as well as get a return on the investment from the loan. And the loans are at a nice interest rate, and they tend to be short-term. Uh, it looks sharp. I want to get a lot more information on it, but but I liked it a ton. Uh, the United Dele uh, Development Funding uh, Project. <laughs> I really like these people. Uh, what they're doing is they're loaning money to builders in Texas, which is probably the only state in the country that is actually building houses. They loan them the money at you know 13 to 18 percent short term over an 18 month period of time. And it's essentially what it is. It's a bridge loan to construct the house, and then they sell the house, and then they pay the loan back. Uh, but we're not talking about 100000 at a time. We're talking millions. Uh, the guy who's been doing this has been doing it for a while. He's got a great track record. Um, I actually got to sit and talk to him during lunch today. Uh, I had a great conversation with him. Really enjoyed it. Um, his name's Hollis. And you would think to God he was a straight-up Texan, but he's actually from Maine. Uh, ran for politics up there, ran for Congress. Uh, the guy's very, very successful as an attorney. Um, but this is a product that you, you should definitely look at again. If, if you're using that whole REIT mix, you know, this is a product that's going to give your clients a great return with a great exit strategy too. Um, corporate income properties is, is a new product that they're getting ready to offer that is I've got a real nice flavor to it. What they're doing is they're looking for companies that own a property, that need cash flow. They go and buy the property, lease it back to them on a triple net basis. So their costs are fixed. They don't have to fix the roof. They don't have to fix the air conditioning. They don't pay taxes. There's no, no increases of any kind. They just get paid. Uh, the, ten, the leases are 10 to 15 year leases. This is a real sexy deal. Now, it's not available yet, but they have filed the paperwork for it, but this is something to definitely be uh, looking forward to. Um, there was a couple of other programs that I'm certainly going to have Mark Munair in uh, when I get back. 
Uh, I talked to Pierre today. I'm going to tell you, these guys are doing some really good things. I'm looking forward to the IPA conference to see if I can, you know, dig up some more product for you guys. Uh, but I'll tell you, if you even if you have clients that have a $200,000 portfolio, if you're not putting, you know, 20% of their money in a, in a REIT, you may be missing the boat here. We'll talk about this some more. But in the meantime, listen, knock yourselves out, have fun. Um, I had an 11-hour day today. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go eat a bowl of soup and go to bed. You guys take care. Bye.